Hi there, welcome back. This is Mano Ya. This is the second video in the series of Your Home. The whole idea is to learn your everyday English every day. So, in the previous video, we looked at a few words, vocabulary, that we need to know to continue with this program, to this, this particular lesson, let's call it. Today, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to give you what are known as collocations. Why are collocations? What are collocations in the first place? They are two or more words that always go together. Like they are married for life. You know, for instance, I say, I'll do my homework. I can never say I'll write my homework, I'll read my homework, I'll make my homework. No, you do your homework every time. So if you say, I'll write my homework, the listener is going to feel like he's eating into a sweet apple and suddenly he bit a worm. Mm. How would you feel? Bad, right? So, if you have a collocation, use it. So, it's important that we learn the collocations, but I can't give you all the collocations that I use in the English language. There are uncountable number of collocations. But again, we need to know that there are collocations and when we listen or read something, we need to pay attention to that. And you grab the collocations that you get. Collocations help us speak more precisely. That's one of the elements of English language. Collocations are very important. You cannot live without them. It's as simple as that. Okay, right. So, let's talk about this house. Say, uh, your brother is going to get married, right? And uh, he needs the house to live in. So, what do you do? As a family, you pitch in. You build him a house. Note, I said you build him a house. I didn't say you build a house for him. So, we look at the way we can build him a house. Broadly speaking, I'm not an architect and this is not a lecture on architecture. But we'll see how to do it. We will prepare what's known as a schedule. What's a schedule? A schedule is a document which has the things to be done and the time or the date by which they are to be completed. And there is a title to that document as well. These three things together make it a schedule. Title, tasks and time. TTT. They make a schedule. So let's make a schedule for building the house. What's the title? Schedule to build a house. Now, what do you do to build a house? How do you start with it? You need a plot, right? So you don't have a plot, then you buy a plot. Let's start with that. You buy the plot, then what do you do? You want a house how do you, how would the house look like on paper somebody has to draw that house right that's the layout so what do you do for the layout can you make a layout yes we can but the best person would be an architect so you go to an architect and say hey look here mr architect or ms architect i want a house like this you help me out and they'll draw that layout and they'll give you a blueprint of that. That's a copy. So once they finish the layout, what do you do when you go and tell him, look, I want, I want this from you and this is your fees. Here is it. You hire the architect. In other words, hire an architect. Collocation. Buy a plot. Then, once the layout is finalized from your side, you take it to the government authorities, the municipality, and they will put a stamp of approval and say, done, go ahead and build it. So that is the sanction by the municipality. So you say, you get the sanction, get the sanction. This chunk is again a collocation. You get a sanction. Once you get the sanction, you will need a builder to actually do the building, the job of building the house. So you hire the builder. Right. 
And then what does a builder do? Well, after all those puja and all that, praying, you know, like invoking the God and all that, he will lay the foundation. Foundation is that thing on which you build a house. If you don't have a foundation, the house will fall. Now, foundation is like this. So you lay the foundation, right? Then, walls are like this. So you raise the walls. I'm giving you the collocations. Note how these collocations are formed. You can get them yourself. Quite easy. Now, walls are raised. We learned yesterday that the doors and windows are inside the wall. So he will raise the wall and he will put in, put in the doors and windows. You need to go in and out. You need air to go in and out. So you have the windows. And then he will lay the roof on top. See, he will lay the roof. Then he will put in the electrical, water, sanitary and gas fittings. Maybe the gas fittings are done by somebody else. He will certainly put in the electrical, sanitary and water fittings. He will put in the fittings. Then he will do the interior that he will plaster the walls, plaster the ceiling. So he will do the ceiling, he will do the interiors, he will lay the floor, like put the tiles and all that. So you call you that's called laying the floor. So you lay the foundation, you lay the floor, you lay the roof. Right? Raise the walls. Do the interiors. That'll mean painting and everything. The plaster of Paris POP. Yeah. Then you do the exteriors. And then, well, the builder hands you the key. He gives you a key. Here's a key to the house. So he will hand you the key. So what he did, therefore, is a turnkey project. He took the plot of land from you, took your money, obviously, and he built a house and it's ready to move in. That's a turnkey project. You simply turn the key open the door and you start staying there. Now, these are some of the collocations. In the next video, we will look at some real grammar stuff, the kind of stuff that is so important that we always make mistakes with them. Errors or mistakes makes no difference. The end result is people don't understand us. That's called technically the present perfect. But don't get worried about these words. We will see how to use these with the stuff that we have learned so far, the vocabulary and collocation. So wait for the next video and we'll come out with how to build a house, how to control the actions of the builder. Yes, you're going to be the manager now, the overseer, supervisor, superintendent, call what you will. That's going to be you. And you see what kind of language you need to use when you are that superintendent. We'll see you in the next video then. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching this video, liking it and subscribing to our channel. We'll see you in the next video. Until then.